Have you ever asked God to fill a prayer request and he gives it to you and you miss it because he doesn't answer your prayer request in the way that you expected him to answer it? Like, you don't want to miss your blessing because you're not paying attention, you're not observing, you're not still being prayerful. Like, you put that prayer request on a bookshelf and then you just left it there, not really thinking that God is going to answer that prayer request for you. Um, that's just something that God has been showing me right now. And, um, like, I always want to be present for what God is doing in my life and I always want to be observant and I want to be detail oriented and I want to see how God is going to answer my prayer request instead of just leaving it on a bookshelf and just waiting to see like is he going to answer that prayer in the way that I'm expecting him to answer that prayer if that makes sense because if we're not paying attention and we're expecting God to answer our prayers in the way that we expect them to go we're not going to ever see or feel that prayer if that makes sense that prayer request being answered because God wants to answer those prayer requests he wants to be present and he wants to um be available and he wants you to see that he's answering those prayers um but one thing that God is really showing me and teaching me is that he does not answer my prayers in the way that I expect. Um, one example is, is that I just have been praying for God-fearing women and friends in my life and just asking God to do that for me. And um, God is doing it but he's not doing it in the way that I'm expecting and or wanting him to do it. Like I'm wanting God to bless these people to come through for me on the time that I'm wanting him, wanting to see these people or, you know, be friendly and all of these different things. Like, I just think that it's unfair that we have these set expectations on the Lord to come through for us but we're missing it because it's not being done in the way that we expect it to be um, so I think that we have to be people of God's word because so many times like the Lord answered different people's in the scriptures prayer requests but not in the way that they wanted it to go um, and it's just so important to realize that we have a God who gives and answers our prayer requests, but um, if we're not paying attention and we're expecting him to give us those friendships, like I just said, at the time that it's so, so convenient for me, like I'm going to miss out. I'm going to miss out on the people who I want to impact my life and the people who God wants me to impact their lives. Like. I'm going to miss out on my blessing. And it's important to be observant and pay attention to not miss out on your blessing. You see what I'm saying? Because people um, aren't going to always be available when you're available. And making friendships takes time and it takes um, uncomfortability, if that is even a word. I think it is. Just it, it's, it can be uncomfortable. <clears throat> meeting new people um putting yourself around new people um like it can be uncomfortable for your your prayers to be answered so i think not i think i mean i know like it's so important um to trust god to know that he's good and to follow through with the prayers that you've been asking god to do like he wants to give you those friendships he wants to change your life he wants to do so much for you but you got to be a you got to be paying attention to the way he answers those requests because he's not going to always do it in the way that um you expect him to do it because right now like i'm on my way i've been asking god to you know bless me with new friends and um right now it's not a convenient time for me to go see these people but 
I've been asking God for good friends and I just have to get out of my comfort zone. It's not the timing that I want to go see them. Um, but I can go and like I have the time to do it. So it's so important to just do it and stop making excuses. You've been praying. So don't make excuses. Like he got you and he wants to bless you and answer those prayer requests. Um, so in the next slide, I'm going to bring up some uh, verses to just really follow suit for um, just prayer. So love y'all.